Alright, welcome back to Genome Tutorial. For today's video is, is still the continuation of our previous topic in statics of rigid bodies. So this is the resultant of the parallel forces under the statics of rigid body. For our previous topic, I'll put the link in the description box. If you are new here in our channel, please click the subscribe button and the like and also the notification bell for you to be notified in our in our future uploads. So ito na yung problem number 1 natin. May mga bagay lang tayo na dapat tandaan. Una, yung formula ng resultant. Where the resultant is equal to the square root of the vertical forces squared plus the horizontal forces squared. And also the principle of moment. Where the moment is equal to the force multiplied by the distance. Okay? So furthermore, let's try this problem for you to fully understand it. Ang requirement naman dito sa problem na ito ay to find the resultant and the position of the resultant. Okay, in the given problem, we have a given forces with a given distance in each forces. So, let's say na ang moment natin is nandito sa external pin. <laughs> the external pin has a two unknowns, the vertical forces and the horizontal forces. Since wala naman tayong horizontal forces dito, so, ang hanapin na lang natin is ang uh, the vertical forces okay so let's say the vertical forces or the f v is equal to the summation of these forces we have 100 newton 100 newton okay okay downward so minus 40 newton upward plus 50 newton downward minus 30 Newton. So, natakal na natin to last time in our previous uh, topic. So, i-check nyo na lang sa description box. So, 100 minus 40 is 60 plus uh, 50 is equal to 110 minus 30 is equal to 80. So, the FB is equal to 80 Newton. Okay, for the resultant, for the resultant, Garon tayong resultant is equal to the square root of f v squared plus f h squared. So, since wala naman tayong uh, horizontal forces dito, uh, i-assume na natin na ang horizontal forces is equal to zero. So, ang natira ay the square root of f v squared. So, cancellation ng square root at ng squared. Ang natira ay f v. So, the resultant is equal to 80 Newton. Okay, the next step is to identify the unknown distance using the summation of moment is equal to RD. Okay, the summation of moment is the summation of force multiplied by the distance is equal to the resultant multiplied by the position of the resultant. So, ito lang yung gagamitin natin to find the unknown D or to find the unknown distance of the resultant or the unknown position of the resultant. Okay, remember that the moment is equal to the force multiplied by distance. So, gagamitin lang natin yun sa mga forces natin dito. But the sign is all depends on kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Like for example, ako nasanay ako sa clockwise is positive at negative naman sa counterclockwise or you can use it vice versa so dito tayo magbomoment sa may external pin dito sa may external pin I set it as the region of the diagram okay so for the 100 newton multiply by the distance so yung distance ng force hanggang sa point na pagbomomentan natin so, sa so 100 newton, wala siya kasi directa or tutok sa may point. So, zero yan. Okay. We have also 40 newton. Okay, yung distance yan naman is 2 meters. Okay, for the sign, iikot siya na clockwise. So, positive yun. We have also 50 newton. Iikot naman ng counterclockwise. So, negative. Negative 50 
multiply by 5 liters I mean 5 lang yun, 5 and we have also the 30 newton 30 newton, iikot naman siya na clockwise direction or clockwise rotation so multiply 4 multiply by 9 9 meters is equal to RD so the resultant is equal to 80 newton D ayan so 40 multiply by 2 is 80 minus 50 times 5 plus 30 multiply by 9 is equal to 100 Newton meter is equal to 80 Newton D. Okay, cancellation of Newton. So the equation of the resultant is equal to D is equal to 100 over 80 meter or equal to 1.25 meter. So, yung position ng resultat natin is 1.25 liter. Nag-start siya dito sa moment or sa origin natin. So, 1.25 hanggang dito siguro. Yeah, not accurate but ganun yung idea. By the way, yung direction pala ng resultat natin is positive. So, upward yun. So, ito na yung end ng video tutorial natin ngayon. So, kung may mga katanungan kayo regarding sa sinagutan natin ngayon ay you are free. Okay? You are free na magtanong sa ating comments. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be notified in our latest uploads. Goodbye.